The biggest mistake that beginners make is using git to send data. So git requests shouldn't have bodies generally, it's uh, all data is going to go in the URL. If you need to send complex data like customer details or file uploads, you're going to use a post or a put. NAN is going to warn you if you try adding the body to a git request. Uh, using a post request when you mean put creates duplicates. If you post the same customer data five times, you get five different customers or with the same data. Uh, put to a specific ID updates, you know, just that specific customer. So you have to check if you're creating new records or if you're updating existing ones before you choose the, the method that you're going to use. And delete is, is permanent. There's no undo when you use that option. So accidentally using delete instead of get could really wipe out a lot of data. And in our end, you want to add confirmation steps before delete operations. So you might want to use the, the if node to check conditions, maybe requiring specific values or user confirmation before allowing that kind of deletion. And many APIs use patch for updates, but beginners will often send complete objects like uh, with put. So patch, you just remember it means sending only the changed fields. If only the email changed, just send the email uh, key with the email value, not the entire user object again, even with empty values. This prevents accidentally overriding data with like empty values or null values and reduces your, your bandwidth usage.